and this question is given that a vessel is half filled with a liquid at uh, 0 degree celsius so over here we are considering a container and uh, let's say the volume of container is equal to nothing but v naught then half of this portion was liquid uh, is filled with the liquid let's say it is uh, so volume of liquid we can take it as nothing but v naught divided by 2 so vessel is half filled with the liquid at 0 degree celsius when the vessel is heated to 100 degree celsius the liquid occupy 3 by 4th of volume of vessel so when the temperature is increased from 0 to let's say uh, 100 degree celsius then there is a corresponding increase in volume of uh, like container as well as the volume of liquid so now it is given that the container is occupying by 3 by 4th of its volume of vessel now let's say the volume of vessel becomes equal to v then the volume of liquid becomes equal to 3v divided by 4 the coefficient of apparent expansion of liquid is so rm is to find out what about the value of coefficient of apparent expansion so we know the equation for coefficient of apparent expansion gamma apparent is equal to gamma of liquid minus gamma of container or if you want to find out the value of uh, this gamma apparent so we'll find out it something like this the change in volume of container or change in volume of liquid minus change in volume of container is known as nothing but the value of its uh, apparent volume expansion which we'll uh, take it as nothing but uh, its initial volume into gamma apparent into delta t now for the for this calculation we should know what about the final volume of uh, container and the uh, final volume of liquid but in this question they are not mentioned what is the final volume of container so we cannot basically find out the apparent expansion over here so here the whatever the options are given is related to the uh, real expansion of liquid is given because they are given that its volume is occupied by 3 by 4th of volume of vessel so actually the volume of vessel is also increased so now it is occupying by 3 by 4th of the current volume so uh, for that purpose we should know what about the final volume of uh, container so this equate this question is not correct so you can change that question into the coefficient of uh, like uh, we can write this coefficient of cubical expansion coefficient of cubical expansion of liquid is now on the assumption that container is not uh, like uh, its volume is not changing then we can solve the question means on the assumption that this container is no volume of container is not changing if the volume of container is uh, not changing so we can just consider that initial volume of container and final volume of container is same only the uh, like uh, content of liquid inside this one is changed the liquid is changed to a volume let's say that is 3v by 4 so we can find out what about the value of gamma of liquid not the apparent expansion because we can write this gamma of liquid as equal to nothing but uh, the value of change in volume divided by actual volume into delta t now we can write this change in volume initial volume was uh, let's say v naught by 2 or v naught by 2 now the volume becomes equal to 3 v naught divided by 4 so we can write this as 3 v naught divided by 4 minus v naught divided by 2 the whole divided by initial volume take it as v naught divided by 2 by delta t which is 100 is going to give the value of gamma of liquid so we can write uh, this is equal to nothing but uh, uh, v naught divided by 4 v naught divided by 4 3 v naught by 4 minus v naught by 4 v naught by 2 we can take it as v naught by 4 divided by v naught by 2 into 100 or you can try this v naught and v naught get cancelled this is going to be 1 by 2 divided by 100 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 divided by 100 we can try this is 0 0.005 so this is the gamma of liquid not the gamma apparent and if you are taking the uh, liquid is not expanding then the gamma of liquid becomes equal to the apparent expansion or basically uh, we can write the value gamma of liquid is 0 0.05 not the apparent expansion